Welcome back. You know, online dating, of course, has increased since the pandemic started. Really, that was the only way for people to kind of get out and meet other people, right? So has the risk of people pretending to be someone else, and it's also known as catfishing. It's awful. Roy Sassoon, matchmaker and relationship expert, is joining us now with helpful tips. If you suspect you are being catfished, Roy, thanks so much for joining us. And this can happen to anyone, right? It doesn't matter the age. It doesn't matter how smart they are anyone can fall victim to this. We all have been victims of something like this where we want to believe, right, that everybody has the right intention and we all want love. So it's such a vulnerable place to be. I don't care how old, how smart, how many degrees. I've heard some crazy stories. I bet you have. Now, let's give some people some takeaways. Is there a way to, how do you protect yourself from this? Because the online dating apps, they are obviously super popular. Some are better than others, blah, blah, blah. But how do people really investigate this? Well, my first tip would be to do a Google reverse search of the image. Because sometimes with an image, you can actually, it can actually lead you to the truth instead of like just a text. And you know what, the person should be who they say they are. And I mean, that to me is also important to find out, check out also their social media. You're gonna find out, you know, hopefully if this person is the real deal. Okay. And you definitely need to set up a FaceTime date as soon as possible. Because when they're on FaceTime, how can you lie about that? If they keep on canceling, you're gonna know it's not the real deal. And what should you do, Roy, if someone suspects that they are being catfished? I mean, again, I feel like the people who, who are doing this, sometimes they'll spend months, right, a lot of time using other people's photos, carrying on these relationships. Oftentimes there's an exchange of money. They're asking for gift cards. What do you do if you think uh, you are being catfished? You know, Derek, I would say you have to go with your gut also. It should never be about money. Why are we getting involved in something where somebody's trying to take something from you? You should be the person to offer. If you want to buy someone a present in a relationship, no less you've never been on a date yet. Isn't that strange? Would you ever do that? I don't think so. I also think this is one thing that you already said very quickly is about doing a Google search. So that image, uh, matching them, go see if you can find their social media. You can do all of these things on your own. But at the bottom line, Rory, if your gut's telling you something, that's good old fashioned detective work, right? Listen to your gut. Oh, your gut always know what's, knows what's up and you better listen to her or him. <laughs> That's true. Okay, before we let you go, so you are co-founder of a pl of power player matchmaking service. So you are a, a an expert in this relationship expert featured in numerous media outlets nationwide. Uh, final, final, final thoughts. And I'm assuming that never sending money or gift cards is on your list. Oh, absolutely not. I think that give a person a chance. If you also feel that the person is being, you know, humble and honest, and you just feel that this is someone you want to give an opportunity to listen give it once give it twice three strikes and you're out absolutely well rory sassoon thanks so much for joining us today we did uh share a link on the scene on houston life section of our website to connect with rory thanks again great information thank you guys and still to come we have the houston life prize wheel Look at this. You could be the winner of this beautiful Tiffany's bracelet. It's gorgeous. The value is nearly $1,400, by the way. But for now, let's check back in with Lauren Kelly, who has more on a delicious way to help local charities. Hey, Lauren.